It's time for some unboxings. This has to be the worst place to do unboxings because there's literally no space here. <laughs> but well, we'll have to manage. Quick backstory. So ever since I started this channel back in August 2020, I set up a goal to save up 500 euros that I could be able to comfortably spend on gear. I'm not sure where I got the number 500, but I just set up that number and I've started working on saving as much as I could every single month and had to cut some corners in my own life to do this. So with a 500 budget, I'm gonna put like a dollar equivalent somewhere here. I put myself a mission to buy as much essential gear as possible for a beginner in order to start pushing myself more into developing other areas of filmmaking such as lights and just making my life much easier when it comes to filming. After all, if you've been following me for a while and especially saw my last video, you know that I'm right now filming myself using my camera, which is on a Gorillapod, which rests on an ironing board, which is basically my makeshift tripod. So definitely at minimum, I need a tripod. By the way, check out this knife. Uh, it was a gift from a friend of mine. You can clip it on, you can break a glass if you want to, and once you open it up, whew, look at that absolutely badass so let's start with the smallest out of all the bunch this is a small card reader that looks like a usb stick from Mitsai. it literally cost on me only 10 euros I'm not sure if it's going to be good or not i don't have a lot of hopes on this one but definitely it will make my life a little bit easier in terms of the workflow to give you an example currently as soon as i finish recording my content i take my sd card i connect it to my laptop then I transfer the files from my SD card to a hard drive, then I connect the hard drive to my main big computer, and then I copy it from the hard drive to a SSD on my computer in order to edit much faster. All right, now let's tackle this box. This is a tripod, which comes from a company called Gikoto. After watching a bunch of different reviews, I finally decided to settle on this one, and this one costed 71 euros on Amazon. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Nice little pouch, very handy. Oh wow. Look at the size of this. Super nice and compact. You know, the most difficult part for me was to find a affordable tripod for my height. I'm 191 and from what I was able to find like really good brands out there, known ones, anything that is above like 180 centimeters is easily over a hundred euros. It was really expensive. But after some digging around, I was able to find this one and I think this is a good starter one. And the cool part about this is that it actually turns into a monopod. Super excited to try that one out as well. So, ooh, nice, super, super exciting. Now I can be a little bit professional. Next is this box here, little one. No, enough needed, just muscle. <laughs> This is microphone from Rode, which is a video micro. I had a very long debate between getting a little mic like this that I can attach it on my camera or to get a lapel mic. However, eventually I decided to go with this one because of its versatility. So it's super easy, just plug in into the camera and it works. Or, and actually this is something I'm very, very interested. Why are there so many dogs always shouting when I'm filming? I don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. So, I'm actually very interested to see how does this little microphone performs against my blue snowball, uh, since this is considered to be a shotgun microphone. And if this one proves to be better, I will consider actually getting like a microphone stand maybe, so that I can connect it directly and have it very close and I'll completely replace my audio. Really, really excited to see what this one is. And this one cost me actually only 48 and a half euros. Not bad. It's my moment like this that I realized that I am very bad at opening boxes. 
They should put instructions on it. You know how they say that you should always keep the box intact when you open it in case you need to return? Yeah, yeah. Forget it. It ain't happening here. Come on. This one is a light stand from Newer. I got it pretty cheap actually. It only costs 27 euros on Amazon. And this one, if I am not wrong, goes as tall as 2 meters 10, which is amazing since I'm super tall. And even though I'm seated, it's still really handy to know that even if I'm gonna be standing, I still can lift up the lights super, super high. And it's, once again, it's really, really compact. I'm super surprised about this one. <laughs> Exciting. And now the big one. Let's see, what is this one? Uh, you know, I really am surprised. Just look at the size of this box. This is how big the box is. And this is how big the item inside is. It's like literally there. And the rest is just, it's just paper. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point of all of this? <laughs> I just felt like a magician, you know, the one that always pulls out like napkins out of his, uh, or handkerchiefs out of his, what do you call it? The sleeve. It's exactly that. So. I really don't understand why would you waste so much cardboard. <laughs> oh God. So this is our, this is actually a soft box from Godox. I paid 50 euros for it. Here you can see the rocks. And it actually comes with this really, really nice pouch. Once again, I'm, I'm surprised because for the price, I didn't expect that there would be a nice bag that you can store it in. It's, it's a very nice experience when you're opening this. So, so inside, this is a honeycomb grid. I have the. Ooh, I think this is called the Bowen's mount. I think it's that. It's two mounted to the lights. We got the little softening sheets, if, that, if that's the way to, rock, to say it. Uh, okay, we have... What do we do with this? Oh. Okay. Okay, punch goes here. All right. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Where are the instructions? Instructions? Where are the instructions? <sighs> Excuse me while I Google it. A few moments later. Okay, so it seems like we need to take this thing out. I wonder if I can actually do it like this. I need to go to the floor. <laughs> okay, so this thing goes. I don't even know if I'm putting this thing in the right place. I mean, it looks like it, but the guy does it so easily. And then, oh, ooh, yes, one down, next. You know, I'm wondering, like, it's such a hassle to put this together. Like, what if I need to go to a shoot? Like, I don't need to take this apart 
and I'm gonna spend like 15 minutes doing this. And then on the location, I need to put this all together again. It's gonna take me another forever. This is actually, ow, ow. If you're searching for a tutorial how to build this, definitely don't learn from me. Because I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just making a lot of noise. <laughs> making a lot of noise. Making a lot of noise. <laughs> Making a lot of noise. <laughs> I've no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> to dismantle this thing. It's a pain. I don't know how I would want to use this one somewhere outside of this house. Maximum just move it to another room for a shoot or something. This was a pain. Oh my god. All right, we are done. Look at this thing. Whoo, it's huge. It's like 60 by 90 centimeters if I'm wrong. And I'm super excited to test it out. Now that I see the real size of it, I realized that this was a good idea because the dome that was available was 95 centimeters. That would be even longer, and since it's a dome, it would be like way, way further back. And with my space, and considering that this will be where my camera is right now, I think I would have a problem with fitting it. But this thing is much, much easier, much better, and it's way slimmer. Super cool. Now, the problem is, I, uh, I don't have my lights. They should have arrived on Friday, but delays. So now it has to be Monday. So uh, I have to use a little bit of uh, magic and to jump to the future. It's Monday, boys, which means my lights have finally arrived. For my main key light that will be used with my softbox, I went with this Godox SL60W. I mean, look at this beast, it's insane. I think you won't be surprised that I bought this one because it's literally the most affordable continuous light that you can get. I paid 124 euros for this one, while the professional aperture lights are anywhere from 700 euros plus. Now even though this will be my main light for my YouTube and also for my work, I also decided to go with something a little bit more light and compact, but only if my budget allowed it. Now, luckily I did have some money left. So I went with this small Nanlite power tube 26C. I mean, look at this guy. Now this one cost 99 euros, which is surprising because the Godox cost 124. And this little guy is amazing because it not only goes from daylight to like yellowy tungsten light, but also it goes into different RGB colors and modes. And you can even customize the saturation level of every single color. It's insane. I'm here to test everything. Now it's time to assemble the softbox and the light and see how it performs. All right, so I'm done setting up the light and the softbox, it's in position. I already lowered the blinds of my window. By the way, right now I'm just lighting up my space using the power top at 32% brightness. Insane. I'm pretty sure I could just pull off a nice look just using this one lamp, or maybe two max. It's incredible. So here's the remote, let's test it out. Why are you not? Wait, do you even have? Be right back. All right, battery fixed. It became considerably darker. I'm using my power tube once again. Now let's test this light out. Ooh, wow. This is 50% brightness. Let me turn the power tube off. Wow, I'm looking at myself through the screen right now and I can see how it's so soft, the light. And at the same time, it's not overpowering, so I don't 
feel blinded. And that's only 50% of the strength. Now let's try the same brightness but with the honeycomb grid. So the same 50% brightness but with the honeycomb grid. I'm looking at myself and yeah, it's definitely darker and more directional. So there's more light coming into my face rather than the surroundings. So in this case, definitely I would need to brighten up everything, let's say 80%. Oh yeah, it's so dramatic. I love this. It's amazing. <laughs> awesome. So to quickly summarize, my budget was 500 euros. I spent 430 in total. And within that price, I was able to buy a tripod for my camera, a microphone for my camera, a RGB light, a whole light rig. So that's including the light itself, the softbox and the light stand. And there's an added bonus, a little USB card reader. And I still have another 70 euros that I may or may not spend on some additional gear. I'll definitely update you on that one. And a quick disclaimer, by no means am I claiming that this is the best way to spend your money. This is what I believe is the best quality to price ratio. And also there are a number of different things that come into consideration, such as your needs. And also one of the biggest thing for me was availability of the products. There was a lot of really nice gear, even cheaper, that unfortunately I was not able to buy because they were just not available here in Europe. So I'd have to order it from either US or China and it would just end up being way more expensive. And on this note, thank you for watching. I hope you found it at least a little bit amusing and I see you in the next one. Пока!